Welcome to a mobile H2O video. This video covers our professional carpet cleaning water softening system. This is the system as you can see it has an inlet valve, a salt caddy, and a water softener. Water comes in through the inlet valve, goes down through the salt caddy, then up the center. Then it goes into the water softener, goes down through the resin, and up through the distributor and out. That is a port that is plugged at this point and you will see later in this demonstration how we can use it. This is the distributor. The water comes in the inlet, goes through the upper screen, and then down through the resin and up the distributor tube and out. The port I mentioned can be used for a second line if you need water for some other purpose or you can put a sample valve to test your water from time to time to see what the hardness of that water is. You should regenerate your softeners at a maximum of three grains. For the carpet business probably even one grain would be, you know, keep it really fresh. Okay, now we'll go through the operation of the softener, the regeneration process. This is the valve, the inlet valve. We've closed it all the way. Now we're gonna crack it open just to show you that it can be adjustable. It is what we call a gate valve, which is highly adjustable. Now we're closing it. I'm going to remove the salt caddy. You'll see inside the salt caddy there is a sleeve. Now at this point it has a cartridge filter in the caddy. You can take the cartridge filter out. We sell carbon block tile style cartridge filters that can be used in your software system. This is the caddy itself. It's got a plastic lid with a uh, what we call an industrial seal. This is the bottom of it. The water comes through the bottom, passes up through the salt, and comes out the top. That is, an, what I'm holding in my hand is an industrial O-ring. But make sure it's in there rather solid. You can see these little uh, nabs or tabs. Uh, just place the ca uh, cap over that and twist to the right. There you go. The, the salt caddy is sealed. You filled it with salt. Uh, and you re-put it into the, you put it into the housing. And then again, I'm showing you how in the housing with the uh, industrial seal. And then you install the caddy housing onto the caddy housing head. And it can be a little tricky because it's heavy and I hold it with one finger or a couple of fingers at the bottom. Get it centered, it takes a little time sometimes. They're a little bit off. There we go. That little finger in the center, uh, holding it up like that does help you a lot. Now you tighten it down before you turn the water on, tighten the housing down a little bit. Don't have to, it has to be snug. It doesn't have to be really tight. Open the valve and you're ready to go for the regeneration. You can guide the water through the unit while it's regenerating. We have a smaller size that's available for carts and other processes. Thank you for watching.